I fixed my PlayStation 4 from this fault. And now of course you'd like to know how I did it? Let's go. Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Armored for All. As you may remember I did a video about the PlayStation 4 and this error message a couple of weeks ago where I complained that suddenly from one day to another day I was not able to play certain games anymore like Jack and Dexter. I never seen uh, this screen back then because it already crashed with this error message. The same with Horizon Zero Dawn. I was never able to play this. I bought this brand new and I was never able to play it. The same happened with Fortnite, with uh, Gran Turismo uh, 5, uh, sorry, GTA 5, with um, um, Modern Warfare, and then was there was uh, FIFA 19, and I think that's it. I Oh, it happened twice with The Last of Us, but then it was fine. So, anyway, I tried all these tips and tricks from the internet with uh, rebuilding database, changing hard drive, blah, 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 updating your firmware, and... <laughs> doesn't help at all but i found something it looks like so far it's working and i'd like to share this with you okay and i did actually two things uh, to the playstation and i'm not 100 percent sure which of those things fixed the playstation but there's a let's say an easy fix what you can try first and the other fix is a little bit more complicated so let's start with the easy one so, and this is how your PlayStation should look like when you remove the right cover. I still can't remember. I think it's the, bot the top cover. So, this is what we need to remove also. This is um, a uh, yeah, silver cover or whatever for um, the, the RAMs and also the CPU. And you can see this here. This is when you have removed it, you can see this, but what we need to do first is we're talking about or taking care about this, I call it X, okay? So this one is uh, responsible for pressing the CPU, which is underneath the mainboard, uh, to the cooler unit, okay, on the other side. So what I have done with this one, uh, you unscrew the four, the four screws and you just, uh, yeah, what you can see here is um, this X was very straight, the legs was very straight, so there was very less in my opinion, um, force uh, on the CPU to press on the yeah, cooler unit. So what I have done is, I just bended those legs upwards like this to have more pressure when I screw in the screws or screw on the screws. So that's all what I did here, okay? So you don't have to remove the CPU, you don't have to uh, renew the um, thermal, thermal paste, nothing, okay? This is really a very easy thing to try first, okay? Second thing, what I have done, we talked about uh, this uh, metal plate, which is going on um, the um, yeah, DRAM or VRAM, whatever this is. I also bended this so that uh, this plate, because when you look underneath here, you have this, uh, I don't know, what this actually is, if it is it just rubber thing, what sticks, but this sticks actually on the on the ICs, on the chips here. And uh, because I bended this, it has also more force or more pressure on those chips. So I hope I explained it the right way. So it's really just about having more pressure on the CPU to the cooling unit and more pressure from um, this yeah, silver cover, which is here. So now with my method, it pressing, it has much more pressure on uh, those uh, DRAMs. So now let's move on to my favorite fix. So and again, keep in mind, I have no idea which of those fixes now fixed my PlayStation. It can be this one or this method, uh, what I did. So I disassembled the PlayStation 4 completely and unfortunately I, I did not take a picture of this, but I took a, took a picture of what I did with the main board. I put the main board in the oven for around uh, 30 to 40 minutes with around 180 degrees. And yes, I'm not kidding, I baked my main board from the PlayStation 4 in the oven for around 30 minutes, plus minus 5 minutes, around 180 degrees, okay? 
So make sure you, if you do this, remove the battery, which is uh, on the uh, motherboard on the other side from the uh, main board. There's nothing else actually what you can remove or what I removed. And also keep in mind that doesn't mean my PlayStation will work forever now. So if the oven fixed the issue, then I'm maybe, hello, maybe I'm very lucky or it is just a matter of time, you know, when it's it's breaking down again. So, but it is, it is not actually an uncommon method to uh, try to fix um, your yeah, faulty graphic cards uh, or yeah, motherboards or mainboards like this. Because with uh, the heat, it can be it can be that you uh, renew or let's say like this, if you have a, a bad solder connection, then it can be that you yeah renew this connection. It can be. It's very. It is very unlikely. Okay, so you need to be very lucky that it's working. Uh, and again, I tried actually three things. I bent the X. I bent this cover from the X to have more uh, force or pressure on the on the uh, DRAM chips and I did the baking method so and also this game was not starting at all it all always crashed at 10-20% yeah, something like this when it was loading but it doesn't it works the only thing what is now missing is a very fast hard drive but anyway this PlayStation goes to my kids so I don't mind at all and I don't care at all at least it's working again so Anyway, try this because I have I had many 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 comments in my other video uh, about the fault. So give it a try before you, yeah, put your PlayStation in the trash or in the bin. Just give it a try. Why not? It is not that hard actually. Just remind, uh, just keep in mind you need when you remove your uh, main board, you need of, need of course a new thermal paste and which one you're using. I'm using MX4. I don't know. It's absolutely up to you, but see, this is working now. It's so great. And by the way, I replaced my fan as well um, because I still had this here, but uh, I bought the fan when this problem started, so I never replaced it. Now I replaced it. This PlayStation 4 is brand new, really. Anyway, I'm very happy that it worked. It's working for the second day now. Uh, my youngest one was uh, testing the PlayStation with GTA 5, uh, yeah, heaps of time Fortnite as well everything is working so far I can just prove it again probably with so Fortnite was was not uh, starting at all good God of War by the way was working every time every time I don't know why but Fortnite was not starting at some point when it was connecting or whatever it just broke down so but it everything is fixed okay so that's for this video I would say you just put this in the comment uh, what you find out uh, if you try this just let me know just let other people know um maybe uh, there's an yeah maybe we can fix a couple of playstation 4s because playstation 5 anyway you can't buy at the moment so um, at least we have something to play see and it's it's also working great okay thank you very much for watching me please leave me a comment subscribe to my channel please 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 uh, you would do me a big big favor with this and yeah, I see you next time. Okay. Take care. Stay safe and